Just give me a go. Is it? What? Oh, okay. All right. I would count down down now from three. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Alright, we're gonna get this jump first try. Oh. Okay, so first glitch coming up, uh, it's called the glitchy save. So what I'm going to do is, like, I talk with Paul, but d during the cutscene, I press the save button. So, oh, you see, like, whenever there's a third person camera uh, and we do a save, it's going to become a glitchy save, but keep that in mind for later. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a gas grenade with me, because normally if you do this map, you have to find the terrorist leader, take him hostage or kill him, and ah, uh, it's too boring. I want to go fast. So, I'm just going to throw this gas grenade into the corner and try to manipulate an AI to open the door for me. There you go. Thank you, Mr. AI. And, well, so I'm skipping the entire quest, so I don't need to do anything on Liberty Island, which is pretty Check nice. So I can just go into the headquarters, even though I did not do the mission at all. Come on in. The reason for that is pretty simple. The AI is getting into a panic state, and because the AI goes into that panic, uh, panic state, it can only get outside because there's no room to go anywhere else. So thanks to that, the AI opens the door for us, because the AI can open every door. Like, this door is not supposed to be open at all, only through the trigger by doing the mission. However, well, we can do that. So that's pretty, pretty nice. So here I have to talk with the doctor, but I just jump backwards because it's faster. Open the door here, and here comes the next trick, it's called duping. So, you saw, oh my god, how is that possible? I can... I have so many medkits! Infinite medkits. yoo -hoo! Med kits for everyone. So, how this works is basically every item in the game stays alive or is still in the game for like two to five frames around. And because of that, we're allowed to... Mm, like, well, we can pick it up multiple times before it vanishes. So, since I have pick up uh, assigned on my mouse wheel, I can pick it up multiple times before it vanishes. So, that is pretty nice. So, here's another thing. This is a throwing knife, which looks like a pregnancy test. I need that for later. Mm. Oh. Yeah, and... Oh, there's someone shooting at me. And this guy has a crossbow. I want that crossbow. Oh, yeah. In the future, we need crossbows. So, here I do a little AI manipulation. That is... Look at him. Like, he didn't saw me coming. Pretty good. And... Yeah. There is going... Uh, one little thing, there's going to be a part where I'm going to do like three to four glitches in a row, like in, in around five to seven seconds. So I will explain all of them, so don't worry. But it might be a bit confusing at the start because people will have no idea what's happening. But yeah, this was Liberty Island. We did not do anything, but we can leave the island. So we're really good in taking hostages. Okay. So, Jens, uh, JC is, by the way, a really antisocial guy. So, Anna wants to talk with us, but we don't want to talk with her. So, we go into the corner. So, she can't talk with us. Pretty simple. And now we go forward to the subway. This is like a bit of RNG. Like, the guards can be pretty meany. They can headshot ourselves. So, and I show a magic trick. <gasps> Look at that wall. The wall is beautiful. All right. Shooting the TNT. So, there's Paul coming to us, he wants to talk with us, but we don't want to talk with him, so we just throw the pregnancy, uh, <laughs> not pregnancy test, but the throwing knife at him. Pretty good. And because of that, we can just continue. Simple. Yeah. So, little rocket here. And I hope you guys remember the glitchy save we did at the start, because we're going to use it now. Oh. Oops, Nampad was off. So I'm going to take that augmentation. Do this. And... Oh my god! No, what is happening? Nah, just kidding. That's... <laughs> that's the glitchy safe. And oh my god, what happened? All of a sudden, all the items are back. So... How this works is basically, whenever we use the glitchy safe, the game is getting confused. Like, the game does not know what to do. And we're in the script, so in the code, uh, it is written that way that uh, before 
the enemies or anything else is getting spawned and updated, it stops the script. And because it stops the script, um, it's not loading everything properly, so the items are all loaded. So it makes it pretty pretty easy for us to dupe things, and so we dupe the augmentation canister. <laughs> no. So here's the next trick. It's a lamb dupe. And this is a bit special, I can only dupe the one which is on the ground. And I have 8 l lamps, which is perfect. Oh yeah, and the flamethrower is the strongest weapon in the entire game. We only need that. Oh yeah. RIP Frank Z. RIP! No. Kill the animals. Kill the animals, yeah. So, if you want to read donations, you have time for one donation. Alrighty, we have a $10 donation from PlateFeather73 saying, Hey Hanky, of course I have to donate during Dave's Hex and for your run. Good luck and have fun. Okay, okay here's a new tri uh, another trick coming up. It's called the grenade jump, so whee! So, how this works is, while the lamb is fl uh, flying on the ground and it's bouncing up and we jump at the moment we the, the, the lamb jumps or fly flies up. Whoa, stop shooting at me, sniper. I want my leg, okay. Uh, it applies the physics to the player's con um, carry to the player, and because of that we can jump higher, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Here's another trick, because we're anti-social, we're doing the so-called head slide. We're just like sliding on their head because we don't want to talk with them, and here I do some duping. So, all the energy cells I need, oh baby. Okay. Just reloading, and yeah, we have time for more donations now. And more donations we have. We have $100 from Cappy saying, Great run so far, excited for Dave's X. Putting my donation towards the Witness bonus run. Puzzle height. Just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. <gasps> he was swearing! Ban him! <laughs> we have $26.14 from Robo Bluebird saying, Who forgot to bring beanbag chairs in for the late night cruise and viewers? Announcer's choice. Uh, my choice, by the way, is that Jack and Daxter uh, Japanese language. Let's get that met before the end of this run, guys. I know we can do it. Okay, so now we got the so-called speed augmentation, and we take the flowers to give it to Anna because, well, pretty nice. Yeah, she, she really likes the flowers, so she's not going to go to Mandalay. Okay, basically, she would go through the door and block us, but I don't want her to block me, so I block her with flowers. And so, yeah. Your chopper's ready, Agent. You may use the helicopter, Mr. You may use the helicopter, sure. Okay. Yeah, you have time for more donations. And more donations we have. We have $10 from Nick saying, Thanks to the runner for making me laugh. Your commentary is amazing already and your accent is great. Donation <laughs> goes to your choice, dude. Uh, two words. <laughs> wow, always two words. Always two words. Yeah, strong German part. accent. We know the NSF were moving Greetings material from through here. At Greetings from Germany. Seems like a good place to well, start anyway. <laughs> okay, Hello. here's another trick coming up. So, oh no, what am I doing? Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. So, what I do there is the so called uh, dead man walking. Basically, I explode my body, or no, this is the so called phoenix, phoenix glitch. Basically, I explode my body, and at the moment um, I, my, I'm dead, I save and reload, and I'm alive again. So, that is pretty cool. That's why it's called phoenix glitch. So, you can do it all the time as long as you want. And as said before, the flamethrower is the strongest weapon, so uh -oh. burn. And here's another trick, it's called the grenade clip. Bam, first try, easy. Nice. And how this works is basically, uh, if you, you have to imagine uh, a 2D platformer. If you're standing on a platform, and the platform is moving, mm, oh, and, and the platform is moving, your character moves normally with it. So, this is kind of the same thing. Only that the lamb is rotating, so we're standing on a rotating item. And because the, the lamb is rotating, and we're standing on the lamb, which is rotating, it rotates our character. And because it uh, rotates our character, it gets us through the door or out of bounds. However, there's a little thing or problem with the game. Because, hey streamer, why don't you just go out of bounds and go faster? That's a good idea, the viewer number 42. The problem with that is only that... <laughs> the problem with that is only that everything... Well, because the, in this case, the, the developer were really smart. Uh, everything which is out of bounds is getting destroyed immediately, so that there's no dead memory. And it makes sense, because you don't want to have, like, um, you know, a corpse in your program. 
so it's not getting uh, so it does not eat any memory and that's why everything gets deleted so that's like a little thing okay here comes my favorite glitch so I go into the menu and whee! it's the so-called super jump well basically if you go into the menu while you have an augmentation off on it reactivates the augmentation a couple of times so you can have it three four times activated which is pretty cool why it works no idea but it works and it's cool so here's another trick which is like um, a trigger jump so I'm out of bounds there basically and the only way I can get inside is I have to hit the trigger however the trigger is so big that I can hit it from outside but I need to hit it at a specific corner and here's the next, like the last glitch in this section, uh, which is the so-called la law shot. I'm the law. No, J Shops is the law. So. I am the law. There you go. He is. And <laughs> how that works is, as explained before, everything which is, um, which is like in the world or when I use an item, it's not getting immediately destroyed. And because it's not getting immediately destroyed, I can abuse that to make like three four shots by going out of Looks bound true. uh going through the loading zone going back in and i keep my weapon so i can shoot as infinity times which is cool so yeah now you have time for donations and donations we have we have 15 dollars from jake pliskin saying hey hanky hope you're having an awesome time at sgdq may your wham clips be swift and put this towards runner's choice jc bomb <laughs> oh my god the bomb <laughs> We have sixteen dollars and sixty cents from F Paul saying hello there, long time watcher, first time donator. <laughs> Greetings to Hanky from the Davis X community. Akarin is kinda proud of himself to be a part of this donation, so I had to type his name in. We wish you the best luck for your run and enjoy SGDQ. Greetings from Germany and shout out to the German restream and all the other language restreams. Keep up the good work for a good cause. Also, greetings from DISI for his contribution to this donation as well. By the way, put this money towards Hanky's choice. Two words. We'll miss you, Agent. Oh, he will miss me. Yeah, oh yeah, here's another trick. Basically, every time I go into the helipad, if I jump and you uh, start the conversation, I skip the cutscene. This is pretty amazing because in the speedrun, we can skip every cutscene, every conversation. So we will never see any conversation. So if, you were, if you're looking for story, you will have no idea what's going on. Mm. And yeah, on the side note, shoutouts to all the restreams, to the Spanish, French, Russian, and German restream. Okay, here's a little trick. Normally we have to go to Paul and talk with him, but boring. I can just jump up there with a with a super jump, which is really cool because that way I can just like. Uh, do the mission without taking the mission from him, him, and when I go back to him and talk with him, it's already done. He's like saying like, "Oh, you're done. Okay." Like, never mind. My nemesis Napoleon, because I can type it Napoleon. Re no, god damn you, <laughs> Napoleon Revolution. Are oh, you? You can do it, Hanky. I believe. I can First type. Try. Okay. Yeah. Hey. hey. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah, I lost. It was was at the start when I started running this game, uh, a time where I couldn't type Napoleon correctly, or at least fast, so I lost like 30 seconds to it, which was pretty dumb. Okay, and the same, same way we go out again. Activate the super jump, take the law in our hands, and we jump on the roof. Let's meet Paul. So now we go to talk, to talk with Paul, and we're going to finish the quest without taking right. it. Good. Whee! Happy birthday! Oh, oops. <laughs> this is normal. So, okay. This is like... Uh, yay! First try. Okay. So, this is the area where I... S what I meant. Like, I do three glitches in a row. So, what the hell is happening? So, first of all, once we, once we do the quest, um, it's like... Made in the story that we uh, Paul is getting attacked with JC and you have to leave and Paul can survive. <gasps> Spoilers. Um, and basically the fastest way is just like to explode yourself with a law. 
So once we're in prison, normally you would lose all your weapons. However, if you use the glitchy safe, it stops the script. So we keep all our weapons, which is nice. And we want to keep our weapons. And the fastest way how we can get out is using the lamb, the law, to do like the, the grenade clip. And once I do that, there's another thing. I'm probably not sh I don't think uh, people saw it, but we will see it later again. Um, I combined it with a glitch called Dead Man Walking. So I had more than zero health. And because I had less than zero health, the game or the AI does not check if I'm alive or not. And normally the script is programmed that way that the AI checks if the character has more than zero health. If the character has more than zero health, hunt him. If he's having less than zero health, the character is probably dead. In our case, we have minus 220 health, so this, the AI is never checking us, and we're actually alive, so... Pretty cool. Here's zombie. It's gonna be really GC. useful if you are oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, this is a pretty nice trick here as well. Like another grenade clip, because, well, I don't want to go to... Uh, and imprison Jock. So we get to my favorite part, which is called Hong Kong! Hong Kong? Okay. It's best music in the entire game. Just listen to it. Nice. You could start there. Ah, beautiful. And yeah, we have time for donations because this is just basically running around putting random codes in. Now, let this off. Yeah, there you go. All right, sounds great. We have $10 from Chase94 saying, let's get that Japanese language percent. Again, guys, we are trying to make that push for that ja Jackson da or Jack and Daxter 100% run to have the Japanese language and to use, watch the opening cutscene with it. So please get those donations in as soon as you guys can. It will start after this run, so. We have $50 from Rayathay saying, I absolutely loved Hanky's run last time I watched a GDQ, and this one's already off to a fantastic start. Putting this towards task block because I love me for some tasses. Ah, oh, 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 it's so nice if you can do things. <laughs> Okay, um, show, no, that's written wrong. Um, show, da, more, class. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. So, if people are wondering how I know the codes, I just know them. <laughs> and yeah, we're fixed. Like, we're always the same. Okay, as said, we're antisocial. She wants to talk with us, but we don't want to talk with her, but we want to uh, get the sword. So, we're just stealing the sword from her and go away. Bye. And while we're in the water, we're just going to reload our flamethrower, because, ha, the future! <laughs> hey, crocodile, bye, crocodile. <laughs> we have time for remote donation. We're just swimming here in the sewers. Yeah. All right, we have $20 from Kirimai saying, Hanky, my friend, Kirimai here. I know you never asked for this, but here are $20 for the good cause. Good luck for your run. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Two worlds. We have twenty dollars from Fos saying always meant to donate and hey, why not find out what this game sounds like in Japanese? So now we have basically all the weapons we need. We just need this the dragon tooth and the flamethrower. And the only reason we need the dragon tooth is to well break doors. There's no other useful thing with it. We just can break doors now, which is cool. And this guy wants to talk with us, but I don't want to talk with him, so I do the roof jump. Run around. And here's a hot party going on. Ah, bad puns. Bye. <laughs> That's him. I'm still going, dude. Just waving their hands like they yeah, 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 yeah. don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Hoop. So I'm just going to jump down here. Because mm -hmm. what is fall damage? Ah, there is no fall damage. Good. As long as you don't have the uh, augmentation on. So Good. I just jumped down here. Okay, remember when I said that everything which is out of bounds is getting destroyed? Well, the developers were thinking of that, but there was like a little thing they were not thinking of. And this is like the quest giver, which we have normally to do the quest for, and then he will get translated into the area where we can meet him. However, because they can't put him out of bounds, they put it on the highest building. And they thought like, huh, nobody will be able to go there, right? Nobody right? Will ever find um, yeah. Almost. Well, we found out. 
And so we can just abuse the super jump, jump up there, talk with him, finish the quest, and leave Hong Kong. So here's going to be Tracer Tong. So blah, 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 sure. Okay. And yeah, time for donations. Just running back and forth. Alrighty, we have a $10 donation from Anonymous saying, This run is nuts. Hanky, you rocked. I never asked for this, but I'm glad I got it. Good luck to the remaining runners. My donation goes to Runner's Choice. Keep it up. Two worlds, and thank you very much. We have $20 from Akutari saying, How to donate during the run of the best PC game ever made. Remember to not spill your drink. Good luck to the runners, and keep up the great work to everyone involved. That's actually Invisible War. That's like Invisible War. It's the best PC game ever made. How do you know? Please leave the corner. <laughs> I, th I think you just need to leave the couch right now. Yeah. Deus Ex Invisible War. Oh, God. Okay, a little side note to Deus Ex Invisible War. Uh, the game has 20 minutes of gameplay in the speedrun and 20 minutes of loading times in the speedrun. Very good. So, yeah, it's 50-50. You're, it's literally a loading time simulator. Because every time you go through a door or through a scenario, it loads for 30 seconds. And there are like passages where you just need to go for 7 seconds to go through the next door and you have another 30 second load loading time. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, here I do a trick because Jock wants normally to talk with us, but I don't want to talk with him, so I use the glitchy safe. But the, the conversation stops and he immediately spawns, so I can just go to the next area, which is pretty cool. So, this is the ship. Here we are going to see the dead man walking again, if everything works. So, yeah, we'll see it coming. So, just jumping over here. Oh yeah, and may I introduce you? Uh, he's like my biggest fan. <sighs> oh, so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone can slap me after the run. It's fine. Help me three wall. Okay. Oops. Oh. Hey. He's fine. <laughs> okay. So here again, Zedman walking. If I go into the menu, I have minus 110 health. And because I have minus 110 health, they I can't see me. So we abuse that trick uh, in the next part because we want to go through this area and destroy five vaults in the sub uh, in the sub uh, in the ship. God damn it! And so I'm just going to go into the corners and shoot everything, and they're not going to see me. They're like, yeah, I'm a spooky ghost basically. But engineer wants to talk with me, so I'm exploding him. Now, I, I told you, I, I mean, I told everyone that we don't want to talk with people, so we just do horrible, horrible things. So, just some precise shooting and running around. So, yeah, you have time to read the donation. We have $25 from Hawk170 saying, Do the thing, Hanky. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good luck from me and the rest of the Deus X group. Let's go. Uh, oh, boy. We have so, to, nope. Uh, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. We have $50 from Doug89 saying, Hype for Jack and Daxter. Bone Saw's 2014 AGDQ run got me into the GDQ marathons recently, so it's great to see him back for the 100% of the first one I caught live. The need to sleep is crushing my hopes of seeing the run live, though, so money goes towards getting those sweet Japanese voices in the VODs. Again, guys, we need to meet that donation before this run ends for that to happen, so please get those donations in now. Sleep. What is that? Okay, so we're done with the ship, so we can leave now. And next coming up is the shortest level in the entire game because, well, the best thing which developers can do is put the ending and the start of the level at the same position, and that's what we're going to abuse. <coughs> so, <laughs> nice flying animation. Okay, so normally I have to go around and do the puzzle, but whoops, never mind, I'm done. Super jump is pretty good. Super jump is like the best thing ever. I can just suggest it and it's super easy. You don't even need to do any setup. You just activate the augmentation and go away. And what? Oops. Nah. Uh, yeah, I missed my lamp throw. There you go. What? No problem. <laughs> you actually go fast enough there. You have two jocks <laughs> flying around beside each other. Yeah, he's just flying up there and then spawns in the middle. Like, like no problem. I'm here, taking me to the next area. 
Ah, it's pretty nice. How odd. We have $60 from Mizunomark saying, get rid of those borders, doctors. SGDQ hype, runner's choice. Okay. So here I do some super jumping and go to the catacombs. I was pretty scared when I played this as a kid about the catacombs, but well, this is like a joke if you know where to go. So here again, like at the start, I hope people remember the AI manipulation. We do something similar again. So there's going to be an AI which is gladly going to open the door for us. So we just hit him in the knee, and yeah, he's going to run to the next door and open it for us. And so I'm just going to wait for him. <laughs> While I'm waiting, I'm just going to dupe some stuff. Thank you very much, sir. And there you go. Okay. Left, left, right. Left, right. No, that was right, sorry. <laughs> Okay, and here another grenade clip. So I'm just like throwing it, bump, second try, that's good. And because of that, I don't even need to open the door, so we just go to the next area. So, more time for donations. Alrighty, we have $20 from Seas of Cheese saying, Hey Hanky, good luck on the run. Thanks for showing off all the new tech in this game. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Two words. We have $20 from Ashling saying, I'm up late and eager to watch two of my favorite platformer games back to back. One of which I've never heard in Japanese. Let's watch that game in Japanese, everyone. You can go with more. Alrighty, we have an anonymous $10 donation saying, Hanky! Thanks. Best morning for a long time. Smiley face emoticon. Oh, huh, thanks. We have a $50 donation from Mezzin saying, You appear to have beaten my PR of 12 hours. Hi. Well, maybe. Let's hit it. We'll see. Okay, and we're done. Where's Günther? He's German as well, at least in the game. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, what's going to happen? Huh? Huh? Somebody's gonna try to talk <gasps> to you or something? Yeah. Hot grill! Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, but as said, you can slap me afterwards. It's fine. <laughs> okay, this is another trick. Normally, you're not supposed to have an object in your hands and the weapon outside at the same time. However, if you pick up a weapon and go into the menu and activate it, you can still have it open. And for some reason, the, the item is like, well, mm, not solid, so you can shoot through it. And that's what we're abusing. So I need that box, so I can do another grenade clip. And now we're going to the cathedral. So here another super jump, out of bounds, Whee! And well, this is not entirely out of bounds, it's just like that the level is designed that way, that you have specific path paths you have to take, but mm, yeah, we can just jump out of bounds. So here I'm going to do a precise shot, boom, destroying a door, bam, bam. and then there's a hi hidden, hidden entrance, <gasps> oh my god, how, yeah, it's a fucking lantern. Okay, Gunther wants to talk with me, but nah. Good fight. And here I put another code. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bam, bam, there you go. And yeah, we're done. Then we go to the next area. Whee. So, yeah, you can read more donations because there's going to be a lot of super jumping. Alrighty, we have $20 from Awesome City Zero. I've already donated, but I had to donate again. I've never seen this game before or heard of Hanky, but this dude is hype and I'm enjoying his commentary a lot. Keep doing what you do, you pregnancy test throwing spooky <laughs> ghost. <laughs> Runner's choice. <laughs> Glad you like it. We have $50 from Cult saying, gotta hit those unmet incentives. Do -do -do. Just duping. We have anonymous $50 donation saying, I love Jack and Daxter. It was one of my favorite games growing up, and I can't wait to see the 100% run. I still remember the many hours of frustration trying to find all the precursor orbs. Good luck and don't miss any. Plus, since you asked so nicely, this will go to the Japanese language. That will be okay, here's another trick. Well, not another trick, but basically... Just abusing the... Clipping through here just so we can get out of the level. Hello and bye. JC, a bomb. <gasps> a bomb! 
Wait, get me. Oh, okay, it's red. Well, that's what you would say if you get the fake mechanic. But we didn't do that. It's a rip jock. Okay. Well, I don't really feel like doing this level, so I'm just going to take this. All right, first try, I believe. First try. I don't like your mountain! I still don't like you! Maybe, maybe not first try. God damn you, Mark. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> explanation. So, what happens is, what we found out recently is that there is an end level trigger in every level, and normally they're deactivated. However, for this level, it is activated. They forgot to put it off. But normally you're not supposed to hit it, so the developer thought probably whatever. Nobody found it, so it's fine. But if you, c you can shoot into that trigger, or you can jump into that trigger, and if you jump into it, it finishes the level, so you don't have to do anything. Which is pretty cool. That's like a pretty long level that he skips too, so it's... Yeah, it saves one and a half minutes. Okay, this is a rescue mission. We have to rescue uh, Tiffany. Uh, oops, I fucked up. Well, okay, I guess she, um, she'll, she'll be fine. Yeah, but as said again, this is like uh, the faster way. Normally we have to do it really sneaky, go through, hit everyone, get her out, get her to the helicopter. Or we just throw a lamb into her prison cell and go away. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> what, lamb? Yeah, that. <laughs> what? Okay. You need to steal a mini to get to the ocean so here... Oops. Two, three. So we do here a precise super jump. Whee! To get on this railing. And there you go. There's a the guy. And there's an the elevator, but the elevator is slow. I don't want to take the elevator. So I'm just going to go faster than the elevator. Bye bye. A little, b a little bit of screaming. Uh, JC really likes the screaming noise. <laughs> They're just having dance parties. Yeah. So All the dance parties. Ben Tech, Shark, Ben. No, this is not tech, this is tech. There you go. I open all the doors because, well, we like to open doors. Just, you know, if if all of a sudden all the doors in your apartment are open, it was JC. Okay. <laughs> so, we open more doors. Go up. Here's a turret. Buy turret. And there's another turret. I'm going to steal this key. I need that one. And because I have a key, I can now open doors. Yay. And... <gasps> Greasels! I love those things. I don't know what they are, but they're cool. They're adorable. Oh, they're green. Put another code, and yeah, time for donations. Alrighty, we have a $1,000 donation from Ark Tenshi saying... Oh. Finished paying off my student loans last month, so I figured I can put the money towards something to help others now. I always like watching GDQ and other speedrunning events, and since Demon Choco is already in the lead over good taste, I'd like to see some more Japanese at SGDQ. Again, guys, that puts us under $700 away from that Japanese language on Jack and Daxter 100%, and that has to be met by the end of this run, so please get that in now. Thank you very much. That's a lot of money. Yeah, you can read another donation if you want. And more donations we have. We have $100 from Cologne saying... Loving this Dave's X run, not only is my favorite game ever, but Hanky is legitimately funny and interesting. I'm interesting? Yeah, dude. Ah. That's why I'm friends with you. Yeah. We, have, we have $100 from the Cluck meme saying, Hanky has me in stitches. This run is fantastic. I've played Dave's X quite a lot, but this is the fastest I've ever seen it. Here's $100 for both the Jack and Daxter <laughs> Japanese language intro and also for somebody to slap Hanky for the awful puns afterwards. Biggest fan? Really? Ugh. <laughs> I guess you never asked for this. I never asked for this. I never asked for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's another little trick, which is pretty, pretty quick. So... Oops, that's not how you jump. So instead of doing the entire run around and puzzles and uh, whatever, I, I just jump up, put MJ12 and Sky... Ah, this is American keyboard? No. Bam. Okay, good. No, it's a Canadian keyboard, actually. 
Canadian. Yeah, but you, you have uh, Y up uh, where Z is normally for me. So I need I just need to remember that. Anyways. So we took the elevator down, but well, I don't want to take the elevator up because it's too slow. So I'm just going to super jump. Whee! When I jump up here, when I skill swimming. Oh yeah, we skill swim swimming in the game. It's basically the only trick which is really useful because... Hello, pillow. Uh, because, well, it's faster. And then we go swimming. And reloading my flamethrower. You can read more donations. It's just like swimming and reloading my flamethrower right now. Alrighty, we have $200 from Steve Apedia saying, First time watching a GDQ event live? It's a great cause, a great event for a great cause. Super excited for this Deus Ex run. I'll donate another $50 if the announcer gives his best JC Denton impersonation. Oh, and save the frames, kill the animals. Now, I'm a little bit un, uh, knowledgeable in the ways of Deus Ex, so Hanky, you, you might help me out giving me a JC Denton impression. I think Chops is really good in both impressions. I never asked for this. I think Batman. That's Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jensen. What? Oh, is it? <laughs> it's is JC. It JC. Yeah. Oh my God, a bomb. He's he's pretty he's pretty <laughs> monotone. <laughs> now unrelated, maybe we have a five dollar donation from Criticult saying, "Hanky, a bomb!" Exclamation point. <laughs> a bomb! A bomb! How long? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, here I had once a soft lock, so Jock was nonstop just saying, "Let's go! Let's go!" Let's go. And I couldn't stop it. Even after I reloaded the safe, he was still saying it. He's ready that, to go, dude. That was, that was pretty frightening. Okay, this is like... We're almost at the end of the re run already. And this is like one of the harder tricks. But it's a cool trick because if I get it correctly, we skip the entire level. And so... In this case, we use the law. And the law shot works for uh, the following. Normally, the bullets would spawn... Hey, dog. Kill the animals. Jesus. Well, I hope Brutal. that blood doesn't cover your setup. Ah, uh, it's fine. There's just some blood around. It's fine. Hey, there you go. Nice. First hey. try. And first try. Okay. So, what happens and how this works is basically the NPC we need to kill or take hostage is on, on the in the basement. So, we can't reach him normally. The only way we can reach him is by going outside. However, the law, the law works this way that it basically allows us to sh like the bullet does not spawn in front of a um, of an item, but like a bit behind. So it spawns behind the door and flies through. And because it spawns behind, we can align ourselves correctly and shoot and finish him before he can before we actually have to do it. And that guy is shooting me. Okay, because of the bad puns. Bye. Nah, just kidding. So, you can annihilate uh, fall damage by using the... Just saving in front before you fall down. So, which is pretty nice. And here again, we do the dead man walking. So, I'm exploring myself, having negative health again. But I don't really mind. And then I'm just like, running around. So, here again. Poor guy. Poor guy. Yeah, nice. Okay. Another little trick. Man, you just not, do, do not care about human life, do you? That's fine. <laughs> and yeah, I want... Mm, I feel like partying right now, so I, I want a disco elevator. Hey, you guys. Dance. <laughs> Yay! I thought you were going to spare him. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, party over. Okay. Party's over. <laughs> okay, make yourself ready for time, by the way. We're almost at the end. And at the end, there's a little trick. Normally, you have to do the... Mm, you have to prepare some stuff to choose the endings. But boring. It takes too long. I don't want to take it too long. So I'm just going to use the button without doing the ending. So if I align myself correctly... I can use the switch without opening the casing. And time. Morning, morning. Woo! 
39-25. Wow. No, nice, sub 40. But because this ending was so boring, and well, we were already partying. End game. I'm going to show you the real ending. Hey, Disco! Hey. <laughs> this is like a, a hidden or like an Easter egg in the game. You can't get that ending at all, only if you know the code. So yeah. Me. Uh, whee. Look at that camera and the dancing animations. Anyways, there's a little thing I want to show off. I have it prepared, no worries. <laughs> don't worry, no, don't jump out of a window. Okay. So this is something I think is... Just like him, yeah. Uh, it's not going to be long. It's just already done. It's just it's just behind the wall. Nothing. Else. So there you go. I have no idea what is this is, but I guess it's like a mapping problem the developers had. Uh, but yeah, it's like everywhere on the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it's everywhere. Raffle and time lost. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. Hope you enjoyed it. This was Deus Ex for my side. Uh, let's, let's have one more round of applause, everybody. <laughs> yeah. All right, and we did meet that Japanese language incentive for Jack and Daxter. So thank you, everybody, so much for getting those donations in. I've got a lot of these to rapid fire in just a little bit. Uh, we're going to get set up for that right now. So don't go anywhere. <laughs>